Hi, my name is Beth Hochberger and I'm a CPA in Hollywood, Florida. In this video, I'm going to talk about payroll and S corporations. So sometimes uh, business owners who have S corporations will tell me I don't need to run payroll because I don't have any employees, but you actually do need to run payroll because as the owner of the S corporation, you need to have payroll. And the reason for this is because the way the S corporation is treated on your personal tax return. The net income is subject to income tax on your Schedule E, page two. However, that net income is not subject to self-employment tax. So the IRS in a way to make sure that S corporation owners are getting social security paid in uh, have decided that you must run payroll as an S corporation owner. So the tricky part about this is there's no real guideline as to what that amount should be. You could say, uh, you know, I'm going to pay the minimum payroll. Maybe I'm only going to pay myself $10,000, but the IRS wants you to be reasonable. Well, what is reasonable? Reasonable is not a number. So what I tell my clients is when you're trying to come up with your pay, your payroll, is to go to a website such as salary.com, put in an extremely vague term for whatever it is that you do. So for example, for my business, I'm a CPA, I can vaguely say I'm an accountant or I'm a bookkeeper or a tax preparer. And I can pull up the nice bell curve to show in my area of Hollywood, Florida, what that the average salaries look like in my area. And if I can pick a number anywhere on that bell curve distribution. If I were to get audited by the IRS and they say, hey, how'd you come up with this salary? I can pull out my report from salary.com and say, oh, I fall on the range of, um, of pay for an accountant in this area, therefore it's justifiable. Now, there are some tax strategies you can apply to running payroll for your S corporation owners. If you're just looking to minimize tax and you want to pay the least amount of tax possible, you can push that salary as low as you think would be reasonable as to use the IRS's terminology terminology. Now the problem with this is over the course of your career, assuming you are in business for most of your working life, you're going to have very little paid into social security. So while you might be tax advantaged now down the road, when you go to retire, you might be unhappy about that decision to pay in as little payroll tax as possible when you don't have anything in social security paid in. Um, another way to look at it is, you know, you can use that salary as a mechanism to put away money into a retirement account. You can set up a SEP or a simple um, IRA account, and these accounts let you put in contributions based on your salary. So if instead of only putting in 10,000, you put in 100,000, well now you have the ability to put away a lot of money for retirement. And what's nice, in addition to putting away that money for retirement, is that those contributions are deductions to your S corporation. So you're gonna save on income taxes, you're gonna help build your nest egg for the future, and you're gonna satisfy that IRS requirement that you need to run payroll as an S corporation owner. Now, there's also some more informal uh, scenarios where if you're Pulling cash out of your S corporation is what we call um, distributions, shareholder distributions or owner distributions. You shouldn't pull out more than about three times what you make in payroll. So if you're running a payroll of 10,000, you don't want to have distributions that are really more than about 30,000. So if you're looking at a scenario where you have a client who's maybe pulling out 200,000 in shareholder distributions and they only want to run 10,000 in payroll, the IRS can come in and say that that's not reasonable. It's not a reasonable uh, ratio of distributions to payroll and they could make you reclassify some of that. And that's not a good situation because you would owe back payroll taxes 
and penalties and interest and it's it's just not a, a, a good way to be so uh, yeah and so as corporation owners make sure you're running payroll make sure it's reasonable and justifiable and really think about using your payroll as a means of helping to build your financial future and your nest egg by opening a retirement account and making contributions to it. It's not all about tax avoidance uh, today because sometimes the decision to put away money for down the road is actually a, a better scenario than how much tax you're paying right now.